Hello, my name is Bob Benson. I'm the pastor of Christ Lutheran Church in Greenhurst, New York. Uh, we're here with another episode of Discipleship Today. Uh, last week we talked about John 1, um, going down through verse 14. We're going to start in verse 14 today and go through verse 18. We're using this as a, kind of a context for discipleship. And really that's the relationship that Jesus Christ had with John, the beloved disciple, uh, probably the youngest disciple uh, that we know of. Uh, they had this special relationship. As a matter of fact, John refers to himself as a beloved disciple. So that he shares that there was that special relationship there. I'm going to be reading from the ESV, and I'm going to read these four verses, and then we're going to interject some context and, and talk about it. Uh, and the Word became flesh and dwelt among us, and we have seen his glory. Glory as of the only Son from the Father, full of grace and truth. John bore witness about him and cried out, This was he of whom I said, He who comes after me ranks before me because he was before me. For from his fullness we have all received grace upon grace. For the law was given not through Moses, uh, through, was given through Moses. Grace and truth came through Jesus Christ. No one has ever seen God, the only God who is at the Father's side. He has made him known. Um, Today we're looking at this and we're we're keeping in the back of our mind that context of of the logo of God in John 1.1, knowing that nobody has seen God personally uh, and lived. Uh, But uh, Jesus himself says, if you have seen me, you have seen the Father. He was the physical representation of God on this earth. And now he's asked us to be his physical representation, his hands and his feet, the physical representation of of, uh, Jesus Christ, who uh, some people say we can't see, and I would would differ from that. I think we see Jesus Christ interacting in our world on a regular basis. This, This word... This logo became flesh and dwelt among us. He exposed us to who God was, God's character. Uh, So many times we think the Old Testament is all about the law, but it was always about the grace and the truth that would be delivered through Jesus Christ, his only son. When he became incarnate, he became that that physical representation of God in this earth. from a fullness we have received grace upon grace and that just means unending grace Uh, there's so much grace in grace that it just continues to pour out Um, I've had people say to me that uh, they have to forgive themselves first Uh, I says well uh, God's already forgiven you he's forgiven you so many times that it's not funny. Uh, We have all sinned and come short of the glory of God, but God forgives those sins. Uh, He wants to walk with us. He wants us to depend on him more and more and more every day. Uh, I've had people say, I've been trying to be a better person. And it's not about trying to be a better person. It's about surrendering your life more to Jesus Christ. Let him run things. When he runs things, uh, it starts to pull things together. And you end up being in such a joyful place when you're doing exactly what God's created you to do. Uh, Joy, uh, I love the acronym Jesus, Others, and then you. You put yourself in priorities. Uh, Jesus Christ comes first in my life. Others become the second, and I become the last. And when you can put things in that priority, uh, you're really becoming selfless, more like Jesus Christ, completely selfless. I'm, my encouragement for you this week is to become more selfless, less about you, more about Jesus, and more about other people. It's an encouragement today. Uh, continue to pray for you as you watch these. Uh, hopefully they're helping you Uh, Get your hands and your mind and your heart wrapped around discipleship.